Yeah, thanks for jumping on everyone. Um, whew, that was a hard fought win. Uh, really proud of our players' resiliency and, and just their toughness. I thought we had several players that really stepped up for us um, and found a way to, to get a, a really good win um, on the road. Um, you know, we got to figure out how to, to get better with this ball security. Um, you know, that really makes it makes it challenging. But uh, proud of our players. Uh, Alabama's got a really good team, a veteran team, several grad transfers, several seniors, just a, a really polished team. I think Christy does a tremendous job. And um, to be able to come in here and get one on the road, uh, we always say it's a game of runs. Uh, the re resiliency is so important, that next play mentality. And uh, it wasn't pretty, uh, but none of these have been pretty so far. We found a way and, and really happy for our, for our players. Hey, Robin, how, uh, how galvanizing are wins like this, especially on the road for, for a team? I mean, there's just, it's huge. This league is so hard. Um, a lot of great coaches, a lot of great players. And, you know, we, we really wanted to come out and be the aggressors. The first two conference games, we kind of got behind. And, um, you know, unfortunately, we, we, we started slow again and uh, kind of built ourselves a, a hole. I thought Sarah Rose was huge in that first half, um, had some big minutes along with some of our other players, but uh, to find a way, you know, I got to believe that just continues to build some confidence for our players. Robin, some big performances off the bench tonight. You mentioned Sarah Rose, Caitlin, Ashton. Um, just what is it like seeing those players not be in that starting lineup, but still, like you said, have said multiple times, representing the front of the jersey? Yeah, huge. And, and, um, it's it's uncommon. I'm just going to tell you, it's just very uncommon and um, it's hard. You know, everyone's got goals. And um, but at the end of the day, you know, they're going to forget how many points they scored. They're going to forget how many rebounds they had. What they're going to remember is those relationships and going to battle with each other, the bus trips, the the big road wins and, and uh, the flights home and, um, you know, just the experiences. And so it's, uh, I think, a team that's shown great maturity in regards to not getting caught up and who's in that lineup and, and what those rotations look like. And, um, you know, I think, I think that's been huge for us. We just uh, all in it for the front of the jersey and um, the girls continue to battle for each other. Robin, I, Coach, I know uh, um, when you look at the, uh, the, the veterans you have, obviously, uh, Haley Frey, Kaylee True, uh, Mama DeBella, I think the first half of the 13 turnovers you have, nine of them were from the players that have been with you for three plus years. I mean, what, when you talk about ball security, it, when you look at players like that, is it something you can just tell them to kind of shake off next play or, or especially when you have players that are playing so well like Ashton and Avery? Um, no, I mean, I, it's a it's a point of emphasis uh, every day in practice. We break down film. We talk about just uh, dominating the simple things and and um, just keeping it keeping it a really simple game. And, um, you know, it's it's a it's frustrating for sure. Um, and we make some things really hard on ourselves and on different nights, it's different players um, that seem to have a hard time with ball security. So. You know, I, I don't have an answer other than we're going to continue to break down the kind of turnovers we're having. It would be a lot easier if they were all falling under two categories. Uh, but there's a plethora of ways that we're having our turnovers, whether it's, you know, uh, traveling, offensive fouls, um, not meeting our passes, trying to, to collect a ball with one hand versus two hands, one handed passes. So it's coming in a variety of ways and and different players on on different nights and so it's just uh somehow you know we just got to continue to hone in on it and try to get better in that area coach what was the response like from lauren hans and haley frank after they each kind of had rough starts the game and what went into them being able to rebound later on down the stretch well, I know, um, you know, our Auburn game was was a tough one for Lauren and and um, we talked a lot about the resiliency and, um, you know, and, and then both her and Troop, you know, not not getting as many minutes as they usually do, especially in that first half. And, you know, maybe in some sort of way, uh, some of our underclassmen and some of our players coming off the bench helped them relax a little bit. 
you know, I know these girls want it so bad and they've worked so hard and we want to look at it as an opportunity and not pressure. Um, but at the end of the day, uh, when you've really worked hard for something, sometimes it's hard to keep things in perspective. So maybe in some sort of way, um, you know, our, our new players and, and uh, we're able to take some of that pressure off for them. I'm not sure. Robin, you've mentioned multiple times just Caitlin's progression throughout the season, kind of getting her body back and everything. Just what have you seen, especially out of this holiday break from her that's been impressive? Yeah, isn't that fun to watch her just continue to kind of elevate her game? And, um, you know, that that she's a McDonald's All-American coming out of high school and could care less about if she's in the starting lineup or what that looks like. She just so invested in her teammates and wants to do whatever she needs to do to help us. And, um, you know, she's so smooth on the court. You know, I think she's got a high IQ, um, doing a really good job with her assist to turnover ratio. Um, you know, she can rebound, she can defend, she can play downhill. Um Again, I think she's 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 a long way from um, I think her ceiling, uh, but she is certainly trending in that direction. That I know she's feeling a lot more comfortable and starting to feel like she's getting in better shape too. Robin, I, mean, I know we talked uh, to Avery earlier this week, um, but but when you see uh, her kind of really taking in full advantage of the role that she's in, uh, what did you see from her not just this week, the last couple of weeks, but also beginning of the season that gave you the confidence to put her in in the last final seconds, which arguably the biggest possession of the season for right now. Yeah. You know, I think she's um, a really good defender. I think she's long and just a tremendous rebounding guard and uh, has the ability to really elevate and, and go get loose balls. And so just the energy that she plays with the tenacity, uh, the grittiness. And um, like I said, just a really good defender. And, and I think a, a really good rebounding guard. I, I know this is kind of a very basic question, but how, how big of a win is this for you guys on the road to be three and in conference play the way that you guys won where your, you know, your go-to players maybe aren't performing the best, but you got the win with the bench too. Yeah. Um, you know, I think it's um, big picture, obviously, if you can, can get a couple on the road, that's huge. Um, this league is so dang tough. Um, but I don't, I'm not looking at this as we're three and oh, we got one win today and that's all that matters. We talked about this a little bit the other day, but you know, we just want to really have laser focus and just win one day at a time. And, you know, we're going to have to, we'll have a happy flight home tonight. And for them. And we've got to, tomorrow, we've got to win film session tomorrow. We've got to win whatever practice looks like tomorrow. And just, um, you know, we talked about there's a lot of opportunities to make marks on your resume. We don't want to get too high. We don't want to get too low. Uh, we want to show resiliency, grittiness. We want to learn and grow every day. And I think that's really what this team has embraced. Robin, I asked you earlier in the week, you know, when you guys were 2-0 and in SEC play, if there was any concerns that you guys weren't getting the AP votes. Do you think any of that might change this week after the win? Probably not. I think there's a lot of great teams out there um, doing really well. I think there's a lot of parity in women's basketball as a whole. And so, you know, I just it's not something that's on our radar, to be honest with you. Um, and it, it might seem crazy, but this I think this team is so unique and different that, um, you know, we're, we're just concerned about March 13th. We're not worried about top 25 and receiving votes and things like that. We just want to improve our resume uh, every opportunity that we can. And that's honestly where our focus is at.